Hello, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. It's me, A. Prustian, and... Cold Run. And we are still here in this owlbear cave, where I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong. Um, you want to go try to fight an owlbear? <laughs> I don't know that I do. I don't so, know that there actually is one, but... I, I transferred I something to your inventory. Oh, yeah? Which was that scroll of detect thoughts i thought it might be helpful mm -hmm. like if if we can communicate with the owlbear owlbear if we hear it say like i don't know if we hear it's thinking like i have a thorn in my paw if only someone will pull it out so ah uh, yeah i gotcha family. gotcha yeah i am willing to investigate and see if we can avoid fighting the owlbear that is a hundred percent a-okay with me i think i found it i think you oh and there's oh shit sorry it's distressed Holy shit. If you mouse over it, it gives the hotbar and it literally says distress. There's a baby! Are you in this cutscene, by the way? No! I am now. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak. Something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Sorry, Soft I got too close. Meat. That's okay. This is better for you because you can speak with animals. I don't know if it would be. I assume not be right speaking? now. I don't think I have speak with animals. Oh, I have okay. To, it's a buff I have to put up. I don't think I have it up. Okay, so it'd be like this if it were me too. Um, I think so. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, you're injured. There's still so. God, well, I wasn't. I wasn't that far off. You're injured. There's still a half a spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. But I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. Huh. Ooh. Can do a druid persuasion. Weirdly enough, that's my. I, no, no, that's that is that is the good way, good route. Um. Yeah, you need rest. Let nature heal you. This is no time for a fight. Oh, you could okay. add a bonus. This is a five, I think. Oh, it is a five. Oh, there's no You're downside right. to it, though. Nah, right? nah, or... nah. That's my druid thing. You got this, probably. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay. It's probably a five because you're a druid. You'd be a plaything, mm. not worth the trouble. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. She's so cool. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I got inspired. Same. That's cool. Oh, Carlac oh, oh, got inspired. Carlac got a quest. Well, she got inspired. Remind me what inspired is. I know if it's like a a reroll. You can spin it as a reroll. Ah, okay. Um. So. I kind of. Do you think it's still worth trying to tech thoughts? Because we could, we could talk to her now. She's got. I think. I think maybe we should. Okay, let me save. Okay. Her baby is so cute. Everything about them is so cute. Let's try, I'm going to try just a regular talking to her. Yeah. And then um, if I need to, I can try the detect thoughts. Hey, give her a good talking to. Yeah, baby. What's up for discussion? You feel the quake of its okay, heavy chat. footsteps before you see it. Oh. An owlbear. Wait, it's the same it's chat? Face looming out of the darkness. Well, that's not good. I don't. Oh, animal handling. You, this ha I this must have had different. the talk to animals up. Yeah, you must have done. Okay, so survival, I get plus two. Performance oh, is plus true. three. Puff out your chest and roar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, this is really tough. 15. I'm going to give myself advantage from being friends. I if, love if this, this doesn't, thing. Yes. If this doesn't work and the owlbear attacks us and you have to, like, I don't know, kill the baby or something, we're restarting, right? Yeah, 100%. I'm okay. out. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, no worries. <laughs> no worries. 
No worries. The beast shrinks back. Feathers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did it. <laughs> I did it. Okay, that's incredible. Well, we're clearly not going to... Well, so we've both had a first encounter. I'm going to see if I can approach it for a second. Let me now save. Now it's friends. <laughs> Let me save. Okay, you can approach I'm it again. Talking. Oh, oh, she's pissed. Okay, nope, nope. nope. She nope. doesn't want to be talked to again. Okay, I'm going to reload. We're not fighting this owlbear. She's I, so I, cute. She's very cute. And I don't, I don't think I have... Oh, no, I do have Speak With Animals. I did put that up. Okay. Okay. I do think it's worth to detect thoughts at this point. Like, okay. I don't know if yeah. she'll be able to have... I don't know how it would be different, but maybe it will be. I'm I'm willing to give it a try. Absolutely. Um, my concern is, can I use it without going into conversation? I think it's something you put on yourself. Yeah, like I know. That. But Just... will it um, will it let oh. me detect her thoughts if we're not in a conversation? I don't know. But yeah. we'll try it. I can always go back two saves to before I had my roar. <laughs> If I need to, to try this out. Wait, it has friends on it. What is the friends buff on it? That mean? was the one I did. It gives me advantage. Um, oh, okay. It's just a roll thing. I think so. It's a it's a spell that I do. So okay. it's an enchantment. I gain advantage on charisma checks against a non-hostile creature. So. It's also, how would we remove the distressed buff? Like, would it be, you think, is there like a know. calming spell or like a, would sleep work maybe? Okay, I'm going to cast the spell. Okay. Now, do I detect, do I, I cast it on me? Okay. And then. I should speak up. What does it say? Oh, no. No, no, that's not right. That's, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. And so what does the debuff even the buff even do? Can read the thoughts of certain creatures while talking to them. So this must be you know okay. what this is? This yeah. is like if you wanted a temporary speak with animals thing. Except oh, not just for animals. Okay. Yeah, but kind of That's for anybody. Okay, be. well we'll not worry about it then. You got the speak with animals insight. Yeah. So I think maybe we just leave the owlbear and the cave in peace. Really? There's gotta be I just want to check through my spells or your or bard spells if there's something. Do you want to try just... to cast heal wounds on it? That could be it. So it something that remove that takes distress away and it has yeah. a thorn. So yeah, maybe maybe that's it. Because that doesn't involve talking to it. Like that right. does. Right. All right. Should I try Go healing for word? It. Go for it. This is your idea. You do it. Healing word on the owl bear. Oh, it's lower health. It's its health is not maxed out. Look at its health bar. Um, it just went up to eighty-eight now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Good you want to Try it again. It's no longer distressed. It's no longer distressed. You were a hundred percent right. Yes. Okay. Nice. That's actually really right. exciting. Want me to talk to it again? Her again? Um. Let me save. Okay. <laughs> because I don't trust any of this. Yeah. Thank you for healing me. Now I can feed my children. Right? Okay. Try it again. Try right, talking friend. to her again. No! Still mad? Still mad. Damn. Alright, reloading. We're closer. We're definitely closer. <laughs> She's happier now. That's good. See, that's worth it on its own. I mean, I think ultimately what is, The next maybe... step is the kid. Right. Do we have something food to feed the kid? Do we have to interact with the kid, maybe? Oh, that feels dangerous. It does. I feel like your ultimate goal here is to become best friends buddy buddy with this owlbear. I'm not 100% sure that that's possible. My goal... There's there's stuff beyond her, at least. Like, is to I go... Want... Oh, sorry, yeah. No traps, please. Loot this pile of bones. Yeah, and now maybe we can? Yeah, there's some that are um, 
that are that are fine. There is an owlbear egg that we could try to steal, and I am not okay, no. going to steal it. Unless... No! Okay, that commenced battle. Oh, wait, maybe we need to... Maybe that was a sightline thing. It wasn't red, so I thought it was okay. Ah, shit, okay. The headless skeleton? Again. Um, yeah, whatever I just picked up from. Let me try We could try to stealth it. Like yeah, that's... try to distract it. That's the plan, is to, to try to stealth this. Let's do the checking sightlines thing. Okay. I love how... We started the game. It's like, okay, we're not, we're gonna, well, this is still in line with our ideas about safe scumming, right? Because it's like, we're, we're only gonna do it when it feels really necessary, but it feels necessary here. Neither of us wanna if... fight this owlbear, and it's so unclear what's gonna trigger the fight that I don't mind reloading until we figure it's... it out. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is almost feels like. Weirdly, it feels like a hardcore game, like one of those permadeath games, mm -hmm. because it feels like such an unacceptable outcome to kill the owl bear that, like, it feels like just resetting the puzzle rather than like trying to get a different. Yeah, style yeah, exactly. Well. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and keep, cause so there's. I'm gonna walk towards this headless skeleton. I guess right now. Oh no, just walking towards. Maybe it's getting too close to the baby, or the egg. Even Was it without... me getting too close to the skeleton? Also, I don't know. Because were you within animated, her but... sight lines? Oh yes, I am. I wasn't with you. Yeah. That was my. Right, I think we that's that last what time. it is. Oh, okay. That anyone in the party. That's right. We did figure that out. Okay. So why don't we decouple and have three of us hang back and one person scoot forward? Like, I'll have a story and do it. He can do hide, like, so that he's being stealthy, I guess. I don't know if that really helps mm. here. Oh, detect thoughts mm. can give you a glimpse into someone's secrets, but expect hostility if you're ever caught prying. So, like, if oh, people notice right. you're doing it. Okay, let me ungroup. But I, w I wasn't in your group before. Yeah, but this way, if the three of us, if the other three characters stay back... Oh, yeah. At, kind of out of sight, I'm going to move Errol back as well. Then we only have one person... What the heck? What the heck? I think it's... close to the kid? I think it's you getting too close to the kid. Okay, so in that case... Not... Okay. In that case, I think we don't even try to steal from here. I think we just bail. I think we've done what we can. That feels terrible. We can't do... Okay. All right. So, could we... but there is other stuff around. Like, other stuff higher up. Yeah. I think we should keep exploring the cave, but maybe avoid the den. Because she's being, you know, understandably very protective of her cub. Okay. <laughs> her pack. Would it be okay to okay. turn into a cat and try to distract her? Uh, Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if she again. It is, probably won't matter. I this I'd be actually surprised, actively surprised if it works. But is she at full health again? Did we heal her up already? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, I saved after we healed her. That's the save I've been loading. <gasps> I got the cub. The oh cub my god! Oh my god! Uh. That's so cute. I'm seducing the cub. Okay, I'm going to have a Starian walk this way. Um, let me see, is there... Okay, I'm going to go raid this headless skeleton. Us. Nope, uh -oh. I got too close to the... So the headless the... skeleton is the issue? I think so, that or the egg, if I got too close to the egg. Okay, load again. Have... <laughs> Yeah, there's some progress here, at least. I don't know what kind, but we can... Are you trying to, like, kidnap her cub? I mean, maybe. <laughs> that would get us a pet. <laughs> it, it wasn't It wasn't something I, someone I could talk with, either. It just said, H, like, hmm. It was thinking, like, as it followed mm. me. HRM. Dot, hmm. dot, dot. Okay, so maybe we leave it, yeah, so if we leave it alone for now, we can keep an eye out for other ways to... 
Yeah, I think I'm good to go explore other things in the cave. Um, all right. Should mind my step. So let's see. Mm -hmm. What else is there? There seems to be other stuff this way. I wonder if I keep if we keep going past. Will she leave us alone? Because there's a there might be we might be able to continue past her. Yeah, I see. I just got a message here. So I, I, all these hatched eggshells over here. And my oh. character says, oh, an unhatched one would fetch quite the price. So I feel like that's the thing. The puzzle is to steal the egg. And I'm not sure I want to mm. steal the egg. In fact, I'm no, I agree sure with I you don't. There. So if that's the whole puzzle, I'm definitely okay leaving it. But yeah, we can try coming this way. This is probably going to lead us... Oh, a backpack. Hey, I'll take all this. Fantastic. Supply pack. Healing potions. Love it. Okay. This might lead us back to the other way we came in before we jumped down. Hmm. Is my guess. I'm not here to yeah, which is fine because I'm not sure that in our save that we actually did that we had um, looted all these. Did we loot this? <sighs> no, I'm not trying I to. Oh, you want to hear about chat. Cazador. I accidentally talked to Astarian instead of clicking the body because he walked under my mouth, mm. and now he wants to talk about Cazador. Well, I don't think he wants to, but we're going to. He said he was your master? My old master. Before the Mind Flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Kazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power. I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Hmm. Yeah, did he attack? How were you turned? Did he attack you? Not him, no. A gang of thugs angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took them up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. Hmm. I wonder how, how, did he say how long ago that was? 200 years. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. You've been a slave ever since? A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak, and our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vein mood settled on. Oof. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. Hmm. Oh, God, number three. <laughs> yeah, number threes have been rough here. Like, right. the prior number three option was that's quite a sob story, but, like, what does it matter? Right. Like, why are you telling me? Like, good God. Yeah, you keep me safe, I'll do the same. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. What do you make? I think we already talked to him. Did about we ask that. him already? Yeah. He had an opinion, but I wonder if he has more of an opinion. So let's ask. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Casador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Yeah, that's what it feels like, right? You're trading one master for another. You'll be a slave either way. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know Casador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. I mean, that feels a little bit like saying, how bad could it be before you enter into a <laughs> pact with the devil and hope that he just doesn't do anything too bad to you? Right? Like, Poof. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Okay, what I really came here for was to double check that we had looted this body. I think we had. Okay, good. Okay, I think that's the owlbear cave. What do we want to do? Uh, I, I want to try destroying this coffin here, but that's okay. a short term thing. I think I want to... Hmm, can we try to... Why don't we just keep heading, like, just keep exploring, heading west towards stuff? We've got quite a few things. Yeah. There's this Dude. hidden cache, but there's no clear path to it yet. So maybe we start looking west and south. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Uh, how do we do that from here? <laughs> I think we can go back can across we... this way, get to that bridge, maybe. Yeah. We never actually crossed the bridge, right? We did not. And I think we might be below the bridge at this point. And that's OK, actually, because if we keep going south, maybe it will lead us to that hidden cache. So I'm willing to, to keep pushing this way. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a ruptured mind flayer pod. An empty mind flayer vessel. Ooh. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Oh, interesting. Huh. Can't do anything with it. Oh, you know, wasn't this uh, Karlak, maybe? Oh, it could have been, or... Because we've been Karlak near here. Or I wonder if, like, if we hadn't rescued Shadowheart, if she would pop out here or something. Oh, good point, yeah. Possibly. Okay, could be either, I guess. Um... Well, we're in kind of a difficult little area, aren't we? It's very pretty. Oh, you know what? We have to go north. Uh, we have to go all the way up north of the bridge, uh -huh. like under the bridge north, and then loop around um, oh, okay. above that nub. Okay. We can go back that way then. But we wouldn't have found the pod this way if we hadn't done that. If we hadn't done this. That's right. Okay. This looks like a empty oh. cart. Hmm? Small request. Yes. Be possible to have a Starian come here and exam. Oh, never mind. I was going to say could a Starian examine the exsanguinated boar, but no, it's just an empty treasure chest at this point. Oh, okay, yeah. We've got some non-empty treasure chests here. Yeah. Some stuff. Right. Some forks. Some spoons. Some gold. I'll take it. A hammer. I a guess. Bunch of dead people up ahead. Oh boy. Uh, Alright. In that case, I will hit save just in case we end up in a fight. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Hmm. Dead travelers, yeah. Well, I'll take your stuff. You don't need it anymore, I guess. 
scroll of Featherfall, scroll uh, to gain you scroll of Featherfall. You and your nearby allies gain immunity to falling damage. That could be useful. Right. Goblin scimitar. Of this goblin. Okay. Huh. Let's see. I think I want to try taking this oh. path. Um, Loot this dead goblin here. Oh. Oh, the drawing? Yeah, okay, what is so that? Let me take all. Let's look at that. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts some depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each is wearing a simple crown. What the hell? What does that mean? I have no idea. That is not what I was expecting, like a treasure map or something. <laughs> is it like the ruling council of some like integrate, like some like goblin human integrated town? Maybe. Oh. I can smell trouble. Oh, there might be. Look, there's kind of this door here, this archway. Yeah. And there are goblins through there. Let's. I. I think I actually, for now, I want to go back um, and explore. I want to try to find that hidden cache. I'm thinking, you see, right on the east side of the bridge, if you if you look at the map itself. Uh-huh. Um, you see how there's that little, like, just on across the east side of the bridge, there's that, like, lump, uh, like, downward lump sort of thing. I wish you could ping like, on the map. if you follow the road... If you follow mm -hmm. the road, the, the bridge across, you can turn right into mm -hmm. this, like, nook. I wonder if that goes underneath a pass. Ah. If we can keep going southeast just through there, if, like, the barrier there is yeah. just like a pass that we can go under. I think I see what you're talking about. That might be worth it. Okay. And no luck here. There's got to be a to get to that hidden... Let me see what the quest says for the hidden cache. Was there? What was the quest? It was something in we the quest there, right? We found. We found something. Yeah, we're so far away from it. There's this whole cliff in the way. Well, we've seen from Elden Ring enough times how the like the long path can be the only path. Yeah, it almost looks like there might be something. Here? I'm, I'm trying to find where you... Oh, there's a ladder here. No, that's something else. There is a... Oh, here, 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 here. Oh, oh, you did it. You found... Okay, so I'm in like... Whoa, where? Okay. Maybe here? Is that on my path that you're trying to point it... to somewhere? I'm not sure. It's so hard for me to tell. There is... It's like right above, above me. Mm-hmm. We don't mind a short rest if need be, so I'm going to try badger form just in yeah, case. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Short rest is totally fine. We've got plenty of camp supplies. We can do long rest. I see the ladder now. So yeah, we have to get to that the area road. To get to. Yeah, somehow. No, because then that's... Ah, oh, shit, man. It's got to be possible. I mean, 100% possible. How do you get there? Uh, Here. Um, gonna... Yes. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, it looks like there might be, like, burrowable oh. spots here. Yeah, right where you are there. That's what I was going to recommend. I'm burrowing up a bit. Yeah, I was going to recommend this spot. That seemed There's like... There's a crag rock here. There's a ladder Okay, here. okay. If you, can if you can jump up to here where I am. Okay, let's see if I can. I'm not a very good jumper. I'm a good enough jumper! Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought that, look, that bit of rock looked suspicious. I did not. I didn't notice it at all. It's got kind of the the watery, like white kind of regular yeah. ridgy thing that they that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Both badger scamper. You didn't have to be a badger, but I'm so glad you're a badger. And so am I. Okay. Oh, uh, could we short rest though? Because I think. I'm... Oh yeah yeah yeah! I was just gonna. In case come... there's fight at the top. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I will activate short rest. Nice little nap. Go. Thank you. All right. Don't go back down. Okay. What's hiding here? There's a wooden barrel with nothing in it. Okay, we'll 
So far, so good. Okay, but this is where the... Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. And a ladder. Perfect. I'm, I mean, it's a heavy chest. I don't know if that's a hidden cache or what, but... It must be. It must be. Can I open it? Oh, my gosh. This has some gold and a silk gland. There's a very good item down here on this skeleton you'll probably want want to check out. Okay. I think it's just all this stuff is the cache. Where's the skeleton? By the campfire. I see it. Ooh, silver pendant. <gasps> Gives guidance? Are you kidding as, me? Just as a regular old cantrip. What? Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh. what? Did you? Uh, we just passed a check, uh, a history check. The necklace matches the sigil in that cave. Oh, wow! Is what wow. you said. The Harpers were busy. Okay, so that was the saloon thing. That I don't remember did. what what what's the saloon thing. The chest that we opened. The sigil in the cave must be talking about that trap chest, right? In the prayer. Oh, you're right. That's my guess. Okay. Um, the Harpers? They're the ones that we saw in the um, the mural in the Druid area where I got like the bardic information about them. The um, Almerin was telling me essentially the Harpers are like the signs of the Seventh Dawn. They're a semi-secret society that tries to better society. Oh, I was thinking of like if there was a... I assumed it was just like a bard. Just like there were some bards we met. Okay. No. Okay. So I think I'm going to give the Amulet of Lost Voices to Astarian because it feels thematically appropriate to let him be able to speak with the dead if he wants to. And I'm going to give myself with the, the dead. Oh, the Lost Voices is not the one you just got. Right. Amulet of Lost okay. Voices is the one that must speak with dead. I'll put on the silver pendant that gives me guidance. Yeah. And then we'll have access to that. That is incredible. It's so good. This was so worth the hunt. Like, it wasn't that hard to find, but a little bit And we're not hard. done yet. Oh, my God. We just had a perception success with this rocky crevice here. Oh. What uh, this? Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, shit. what? I interacted with the rocky crevice. Oh, it's aggressive spiders. Oh. Ah, okay. Well then, let's kill some spiders. Okay. Uh, yeah. Bonus action. Can he be stealth? Oh my! My game is just like I'm a lag. I'm a lag a whole oh, no. bunch. Um. Oh no! It's it's. Okay, my internet must have crapped out for a second. Oh no. I think it's okay. It just it took it a second to to be good. Okay, I'm gonna hide, Trace. and then I'm going to try to sneaky sneak, I guess, on one of these fucking spiders. Oh wow! You I guess. Them. I guess they're just. Yeah, I'm gonna bite one. They're not too tough. No. Which is good. This is before killing them summons the spider god. Oh god, I hope not. Also, seriously, my my internet is being super duper unhappy. Okay, where is... There's one. Okay. Okay, and then Karlak gets to fight a spider. Go whack it. Oh. Hey, I got inspired. I need to make sure I use sure. those cuz I think you can only have 3. Um under if you press P. Oh, P is my ping. I changed the Oh, okay. <laughs> um how do we how do we get here normally? Oh, if I d pull up my inventory, I have 4 inspiration points. So I will There's some, there was a screen I just, I just pulled up, like P for me, mm -hmm. shows, 
like the description of how you got each one, each inspiration. Oh, that's like, really cool. Like for me, it shows like or one inspirational event was recover saloon's lost treasure through because and the outlands are like sticky oh. fingers the one we just got was secure the pouch from the steer crevice from carlac nice or oh wow hmm? you actually the the triumph that uh you and carlac got I uh oh shit Elvis. sorry dialogue folded in the chicken of spiders a shiny gold coin pokes from yeah. Sorry, I was trying to just um, interact with this thing. I thought it would just give me some treasure. I didn't know it was going to be a thing. Sorry, finish your thought. Um, it it, uh, it was sticky. Specifically, the, the triumph that you got the in the owlbear cave said you got it because you try the owlbear mother. Because I so, what. You cut out. It said you triumphed over the owl bear mother. Oh right, because I roared like, at her. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. That. Okay. All right. Well, gotta take the bag. I literally I can't look at the screen. This is awful. All right, take yep. the bag. Ugh. You stash the bag. It's off. Something among the coins. Okay. Received a pouch. All right. All right, so we have had some technical difficulties that I think we've solved, so we're back, and it's time to loot these spiders. Ah, really? Nothing? Come on, guys. Help us out here. Very well. I didn't know what you were expecting the spiders to be holding. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, none of this stuff is that realistic, right? I just no, wanted them not. to have something, because that's more fun than nothing. Oh, well. Remind me what you got from the crevice? Uh, for, Oh, from the, the rocky crevice? Um, yeah. I don't know. I got, like, a pouch that jingled. I should look at this pouch. Yes. It has a spider egg sack and some gold. The spider egg sack... Is a bonus action? Something or some things wriggle within the sticky shell. Maybe you can use it as like if there's if you encounter like, oh I'm a guard, I'm guarding this treasure, but I'm afraid of spiders. You can use it on them and freak them out or something? Maybe I can I can spider people? I mean I listen, I should try it. I still want to try throwing a rotten tomato at somebody. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Um, okay, I think we've looted this hidden cache. That was really cool, actually. Yeah. Can I just move or no, I have to actually jump. Yep. Okay. Can badgers jump? A little bit. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> Badger set? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it's just like a little person. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's a beautiful oh thing. Gosh. It's so perfect. Does Carlac look weird? No. Her skin is not red for me. It's gray, like stony. Did you give her bark skin? She has bark skin on. Oh my god, it actually changes. I was I, I was a hundred percent just expecting it to be just like a um just like a, a generic buff. I wasn't expecting it to actually turn her skin to bark. That's pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. I think I noticed it when I was when you first applied it and I was in like the tabs, because it shows it if you look at everybody. I love the way when you look at everybody, it shows your current condition. You're a badger. She's in bark. Like, it's so cool. So, okay. Well, again, a few more tech issues, but we are back. So, I think Not we should me. maybe go through this thing. Apparently, there might be goblins here. There's a signpost. I'll give it a shot. Moonhaven. Moonhaven. Okay. I can attack the signpost. I'm going to examine I wouldn't. it. Yeah. It has six hit points. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, anyways. I'm gonna go into the Blighted Village. That doesn't sound good. I don't actually see anybody. Huh. We sense a goblin trap. That was the thing, right? Yeah. But I'm wondering what that trap is. There's hmm. There's there's another route we could go. Yeah. Like Something I'm just thinking a little of less all direct. The in, yeah, I'm just thinking of all the times in Elden Ring we just crashed right into the gate and regretted it. But this is right. probably not one of them. No, um, I mean I think if we could get around, it's probably smart. There's kind of a side path over here on the um on the left, right? On the south. Oh. Oh yeah, I didn't even see There's that. There's an opening in the wall. Maybe we try coming over here. Oh, your character's running right in. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, dialogue. Surround him like. Okay, this is what I get for just clicking there instead of making sure that I would So my character's probably going through the easy way inside rather than the hard way outside. <laughs> All right, we'll uh I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spoiled us. Good. It's like they say, no fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. I know the goblins are like antagonists and going around killing people and stuff, but they're so adorable. They are. They're yeah. like little, like, sp I don't know. They f it feels like if Kuno from Disco Elysium <laughs> were in were this yeah. game, he would be a goblin. Like, there's a charm mm -hmm. to them. Yeah, okay, there'll be no skewering happening here. Let me pass. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Oh, maybe because they, I can do something with the illithid, um, thing like it, that connection to the cult. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this. The illithid wisdom thing. It gives me advantage, and I can add guidance. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a difficulty class too. Okay, well. <laughs> I just now noticed that. <laughs> like dunking on the toddler. Yeah. Success. You're a true soul. But my mistake, madam. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. Uh oh. It's taking something you'll never get back. Yeah, I'm worried about using this thing. Shoot. You'll get no yeah. more trouble from us. Promise. I should have listened to you the last yeah. time. Oh, we got exclamation points. I wonder what they think about this. Okay, I'll talk to... Um, I'm going to talk to Karlak first. So the oh. Hole gives us the ability to Both influence of them. Others. Taking away the free will of others could be a gift or a curse in disguise. <laughs> Nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's interesting because he would hate to have it used on him. Yeah. But he's I don't <sighs> think he's very much about the golden rule though. No. No. Um Yeah, maybe I think I'm gonna go with the third one. There are strange times even stranger powers. We should seek to understand them before we make rash decisions. What's there to understand? We've gained the upper hand, and I for one intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I don't know though. I mean, I'll take yeah. it, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous now. Okay, but we can we can explore the place without having to fight everybody, which I guess is a plus. Maybe I should have done the regular persuade. Well, too late now. Too late now. 
that's not the kind of thing I want to save scum over. You know, like no. this feels like adding character rather in interest to the game rather than something I really don't want. I'm gonna climb up this ladder. Can I talk to these goblins now? I'm gonna save. Before I do anything rash, like talk to a goblin. I should speak up. You okay, see talking. Shiny? It's ours. Okay. okay. That's what they say. I don't have the little speech bubble with anybody else, so. Huh. So we can drop down into these places, probably. Yeah, that would make sense. Might be able to... Oh, there's... Do you see... There's calcified web, in, web inside this building. Oh, interesting. Huh. There might be a better way to get in than just jumping down. I'm a, Yeah, I'm gonna take the ladder. Let's go back to... Like the door? Yeah, like a door. That might be a better idea. And how do you see line of sight again? Uh, left shift. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, the cal. Uh, take a look. There's a, a exit on the or an entrance on the side of the building, and there's like a the calcified let web seems to lead into a deeper area. Oh. Uh, where do you see the... Oh, there's a door. Or no, that's not a or door. Or there's a, there's a, a one floor up around the other side of the... Uh, follow this this furry butt. Following the furry butt. Oh, there's a dead person. Let's have a look. Uh, core yeah, staff, sure. Necromantize them, or... So uh, Starian can talk to him. I can try. Okay, so Starian, speak with the dead. Oh wait, he has to be closer. Can't target undead. Oh, intriguing. So the skeleton counts as undead. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, nope. Can't These speak with the dead with them. Okay, but there is an empty an entrance How here. Farther can I go? Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I walked across the calcified web and nothing happened, so that's good. Yeah, but you see that there's an area below it. There's like a, a basement below it. I don't... Yeah, it's like hard to tell. There's definitely something through it, right? Yeah. Can you set it on fire? Oh, hello, there's a goblin here. Oh, but she's just a tracker. Yeah. I think if we Can don't... Can set it on fire? Um, sure. Needs... Oh, that actually worked. I kind of can't yeah. believe that worked. Okay. I'm trying to get a good view of this. All right, let's... I'm going to try it's jumping down. Is interrupted there. Be careful. Oh, there are traps about. Oh, okay. There are traps about. Well, I'm glad we brought a star in it in this glitched out crate. I hope it's a glitch. <laughs> it is. It's gotta be. Yeah. I can't target it or anything. Yeah, I can't um, open this other barrel either. Oh, there is a... Look at this. Look at this guy. This chest over here. It's like glowing. I think yeah. it's trapped. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have... Oh. Now the barrel gives me stuff. I'm going to have a Starian disarm it. He has so many bonuses. And I'm gonna give him guidance. Because why, why not? not? I'm so glad we found that. Yeah. He gets 9 to 12 bonus, and it's a roll of 10. <laughs> so I think the only way he fails is if he rolls a 1, which would fail right. no matter what. 
Okay, I love that that's an option. That there's nowhere you're truly, great. truly safe. High Cliffs Blueprints. Okay. Let's take a look at that. High Cliff sounds like a manor or like an estate. Yeah. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines from the blueprints of three weapons. Ooh. A great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements, and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, susser bark. The susser bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. So that might actually be something... They call for susser bark. Finish There's the masterwork weapon. A susser tree. The underdark. Oh. Oh boy. What's yeah. the underdark? Um, all I know is that it's, like, underground scary place. Oh, like a hell-type place, or just, like, I don't a think so. I think it's, like, place. yeah, like, giant caverns of okay. stuff. And so it gave us a quest, was that? Yeah, finish yeah, the masterwork finish weapon. Yeah, finish the masterwork weapon. That's cool. Um, From the Nautiloid Crash region. That reminds me that what we should do probably next time is go back and talk to the um, blacksmith for Carlac. Mm. Good call. Yeah, definitely. I had kind of forgotten about that. Oh, I didn't mean to lay down in the bedroll. Let's stand up here. <laughs> so we could, we should probably just start, start looting and keep an eye out for perception checks. That this, is right? what I'm doing. But I, am I guessing that thing you just got was the the big thing yeah oh, there's, a, there's a lock chest up here oh okay but um, no perception checks for me got a broom a burlap sack full of rotten mushroom nice excellent a smoke powder barrel is up here i hmm okay oh how'd you get up there oh there's, there's a ladder, a ladder. <laughs> okay there's a chest you said it's locked up there yeah. Okay, I'll send a star in up. Lockpick. Oh, this one's difficulty 15. Mm. Definitely going to add guidance. And we'll see how it goes. Is it worth... Oh, no. Ah, uh, it didn't you. matter. Okay. He, he rolled a 19. He got 31. He's stunting on us. He is. Says I used thieves tools. I thought I didn't use those up. I got a steel forged sword. 5 to 10 damage. Looks like a magic short sword. Blacksmith's note. The note says, specimen, metal, hardness, 9.5, very hard, melting point unknown, color, silver, markings, red lacerations flecked with yellow dust, source, underdark? Notes, gift mm. from, redacted, faintly sulfuric odor, forging unsuccessful, will not melt or warp at standard temperatures. And infernal iron. Well, that sounds pretty good. Infernal metal. So, my these, I mean... Hang on to that. Carlac just said that's what her engine is made of, and we should hold on to it. I wonder if that'll be helpful with the blacksmith. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. Good I was looking at the uh, character sheets. I'm glad you saw that. I did not catch that at all. Yeah. Fantastic. I was trying to see, where, is, where does it show what weapons a character is proficient with or able yes, to use? I was trying to see if um, it might be it might be a good weapon for a Starian, but I, I don't know how to oh, tell. Oh, that's a good question. I'm not 100% sure either. I know if I'm here, like maybe instead of a scimitar, let me grab it. Um... Okay, he can do it instead of the scimitar. Yeah, that's got to be better, right? The scimitar. Well, the scimitar is yeah. higher damage. It's four to nine. What does this do? It's finesse. It's two to seven. I'm not sure if it is better. I I don't know. I have a hard time knowing, so I may have to ask um, one of our um, 
experts about that later. Okay. But the other thing is, this cracked wall, I succeeded in a perception check about it. Okay. So this, uh, this wall here, there's something interesting. Not now. Examine? So there is Just over here wall. a smoke powder barrel. Maybe we can carry oh. it over and, like, blow up the wall. Use it. Yeah. Maybe I I'll... I don't know what smoke powder is, but it sounds dynamite-y. Maybe I'll save. Okay, I'm gonna get my team away from the wall. It is really funny to watch you, like, hop that barrel over. <laughs> okay, you get it over there, and then I'll okay. ignite it. Is this... I'm not even sure... I don't see... Oh, there's the crack. Yeah. Is it, is it in the right spot? Is it in front of it? Uh, yep. Okay. No, I didn't mean to touch it. God damn it. Oh, what if you light I it on fire instead of picking it up? That's... <laughs> Drop. I don't want a backseat game, but that's what I would do. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's let's back up a bit. Let's back up. Everybody uh, back up. And then... Fire bolts. Oh! Oh! Maybe you should have backed up a little farther. <laughs> Maybe I should have backed up a little <laughs> farther. Death saving throw failed. Oh shit. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Shit, shit, shit. Turn base mode. Let's rescue Astarian. Wake back up. I'm so sorry, buddy. Or that's. Yeah. That's um, his fault. He has free will in his own mind, so. Sorry, guys. I didn't. I didn't think it would be. You know what? Way. We made it, though. We made it. That's the We did. We thing. got it. Perfect. Just as intended. It leads to a whole ass cave. Okay, let's do a short rest so that they're not dying. That's a good idea. I'll feel that one later. And this um, blacksmith's bellows, this has got to be something we in, we use like once we get the tools. Like, we got to probably come back to the Blighted oh, Village to yeah, that'd put be it into effect, maybe? Right? That seems reasonable. I guess there's other stuff we maybe haven't finished. Um, there's an anvil. Oh, I just activated the melting furnace. Oh, nice. And I can blow blacksmith's bellows it up, too. Interesting. I don't want to put, like, the infernal iron in there yet until no, we're, no, like, no, no. kind of told to. But that is intriguing. Okay. I don't want to keep bellowing either because it seems like it got hotter when I bellowed it once. Yep. I worry it'll over bellow or something. I'm gonna come into the uh, the cave here that we found. The wisp is this the underdark? Maybe we're going into the underdark for all I know. Shit, man, this is huge. Okay. Well. Icarus egg clutches up ahead to the left. Lovely. Yeah, this is, um, this feels... Do we want to finish exploring the town first, or...? Yeah, this feels like a lot. I thought it was just going to be a tiny little side cave. Same. It's huge. Okay. Look at your little badger butt going through the <laughs> hole. is so good. Okay, I thought I had to jump over that, so I went to jump, and she climbed very carefully over the little ridge and then jumped across flat ground so good job me okay um yeah let's let's can we get out of here there was a door yeah we can somewhere. open up that lock that lock double door that we can get that that we perfect. avoided before perfect i guess another room here oh sweet yeah let's just keep looting the place the goblins haven't noticed any of this so they can't be mad no. at us no traps please but now we know where the goblins came from, probably, it sounds like. What, the Underdark? No, because we had yeah. to blow up the wall. I don't think they know about it. And, oh, you don't think they, like, hastily, like, cemented? No, it, it looked more... Yeah. Hey, I think you're right. Okay. Then it's an awful coincidence, then. Awful big coincidence that, like... Because goblins seem like they're Underdarky, but maybe not. Maybe it's, like... I don't... Yeah, I don't know. In here, huh? I'm literally prejudging goblins from like other underworldy <laughs> settings and like other fantasy. Yeah. 
Oh, we found gold. Oh, nice. Oh, but it's just like, it's like one gold piece. Never mind. Eh, it's still something. Just another I thought it was like a gold bar or something. Mm. Tons of thieves tools. Like a metric ton of thieves tools here. Well, that's good. Yeah. Because apparently I have to unlock this anyways. No, there's a lever. Oh. I'm just levering it. Cancel. <laughs> okay. There. All right. Touche. <laughs> I'm going to steal from this cupboard. <laughs> oh, another trap disarm. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. That's perfect. So... Just another quick Oh, there's look. a sigil. Uh, teleport area. Oh, yeah. Let's go hit that up. In fact, let's go hit that up and call it a day. And then next time we can finish exploring this place and maybe go back and... Um, do talk to the blacksmith for Carlac. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you the next time. Bye. Bye bye.